Good morning. Thank you for coming. It's wonderful to see such a nice crowd here today to honor our fallen, honor our country. Today we gather in our fair city of Glens Falls to honor the thousands of fallen lives from September 11, 2001. The enormous damage perpetrated on human beings, families, businesses, cities, and the infrastructure of our nation was a horrible, inhumane act perpetrated by a foreign country whose main purpose was to kill as many human beings as possible. These individuals spared no effort, time, or their own lives to accomplish their purpose. The bravery and kindness shown on that fateful day by hundreds of brave human beings was observed on TV stations across our land. As a nation, we have worked hard to replace and recover from the terrible loss, damage, heartache experienced that day. As a pastor, I feel responsible to be a better American to do my best to help our country thrive once again, to offer my time, my effort, and my love to help those who suffer, to pray for our nation that God will bless us by pouring his love out upon us, his healing and his restoration to our souls, our fellow Americans, our business communities, industry, farming, factories, churches, religious communities, and any livelihood that would bring healing and restore trust and love to all Americans, both young and old. If we choose to work together on this September 11, 2020, that we drop our prejudices, stop the violence, offer our hands and hearts to improving our country, things will change in an amazing way. But we must be unified from Washington leaders to local representatives from cities and towns across these United States. The only way we will be true Americans is to choose to work, to pray, and to play together as a nation, invisible with liberty and justice for all people, regardless of color or creed. September 11, 2020 is a great day to make our pledge as a nation to bring this country back to where it once was. The America us older folks remember, a nation of generosity, towns and cities where children could play unafraid of being harmed by strangers. A nation where God is once again prominent in the opening of churches long left vacant where drugs, alcohol abuse, and prejudice becomes a thing of the past, where foul language and hatefulness is eradicated. We can make it happen, my friends, but it will take every town, every city, every village across our nation to bring these changes about. Are we willing and ready to bring peace, love, and friendship to all Americans, the choices lay before us. It is our time to act. May God give us the courage and the willingness to be true Americans in every sense of the word. Amen.
This concludes our service for today. Thank you to Glens Falls Fire Department for all the hard work and wonderful job that they do for our city. And we thank you all and God bless you all for coming.